matches. You've got the Blade Runner, which uh, in America and WWE is known as the Sister Abigail. We've seen a couple guys do it before. Where did you develop it? Where did you pull it from? What was the first time you saw it and said, that would make a good finish? Well, the funny thing is, you know, like you said, people know as a Sister Abigail. Uh, well, the shell shock, too, yeah. Like well, exactly. That's exactly what I was about to get to is uh, most people only know it as uh, the Sister Abigail beforehand. So they're like, oh, you took it from here, which is, you know, it's, it's not true at all. It, I lived with Alex Shelley for a better part of a year, and he was my first match in New Japan, and we tra- uh, worked together, trained together in the dojo and stuff. So, uh, yeah, the shell shock, that was, that was his move. So that's where uh, the origins of that came from. There's nothing to do with um, taking it from WWE at all, but that's what you get. You get fans that don't have the knowledge of that, but then they still try it. They think they do, and um, <laughs> they try and make comments like that. But that was nothing to do with WWE guys. It was uh, I guess uh, adapted and given to me by Alex Shelley. So it, when you do that, obviously it's one of those moves that that you always hear. You can do it to anybody. Would, did that go into the the decision making of adopting that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I guess that, that's why he used it as well. You know, it's, uh, I'm sure it'll be difficult on bigger guys, but it's not like I have to lift their whole weight over my head or anything like that. So um, it can be hit, it, hit out of anywhere as well. So uh, I can surprise you know, with it. It doesn't take a, a crazy build-up for me to, to get to it. So there's, there's less opportunities for guys to be able to escape or, or counter it. So, yeah, there's definitely some of the thought process for it. Has there been anybody that you've done that to in the way that they've landed or they've taken it? You're like, ooh, that looked good. Uh, most guys, you know, I might make sure when I rotate with it that I, you know, rotate quick to the point where it pulls them around towards their head. So a lot of guys don't really have uh, much of a choice, to be honest. Um, I think, I think you know, the best ones, but obviously because they were in a, in a – uh, in a highlighted position would have been each time I hit Kenny with it. Uh, if you look at the one where I turned him down the Bullet Club and then in the match, I think uh, those are some of the most vicious ones I've done. You've also used Sharp Sensations, which is a bit of a crucifix with some elbows. Uh, yeah. when, when did you first look at that and say, that's one I could use? Uh, that was that would have been back last year at some point or when it was when I first did it. When I first kind of saw it, I can't remember exactly. It probably would be probably seen it years ago, and I've seen a couple of your comments. It's from uh, one of the very old UFC fights. Gary Goodridge. I uh, finished exactly finished the fight with it. Um, so I remember seeing that, like probably you know maybe even a couple of years ago, thinking that would be awesome for a move. And no one else ever, no one seems to have done the exact same thing. Danny Bryan did it, did similar versions of it in uh, before in Ring of Honor, uh, but then I started using it last year and. Um, yeah, now I had the chance to use it in Japan. I, I was hoping you would say that. That was one of the most vicious knockouts of the early UFC days, and uh, it was kind of surprising that nobody had saw that and, and thought to use that. And, and finally, yeah. Wiki, Wikipedia also lists you as using the Kiwi Crusher, an outside leg hook fisherman driver. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's what uh started with. That became a finish in Ring Runner when I first got there. Obviously, you had located the Key Crusher, and then... We just chucked Kiwi Crusher, and I just to make it slightly different. I grab a different leg to him, and I almost do it a little bit deadlift style. You know, he, he used to kind of pop guys up and come straight down. I like to hold them up, have the head and leg clutched, and so I have all their weight come down on the top of the head when I do that. Uh, yeah, that was how the plan, plan the name came about. The funny thing with that is that uh, Travis Banks, working over in England for also from New Zealand, he does the Key Crusher and calls it the Kiwi Crusher. But I think <laughs> neither of us ever said anything like that to each other we, we just both happen to be doing it at the same time and then we realized that both guys did it 